What's up guys, we're back again with another video. Today's video is going to be me telling y'all how I almost played college football. Alright, so I'm going to just start off like my freshman year. Just I'm going to just briefly go through, you know what I'm saying, the, the, um, what I went through through high school, like the recruiting process and stuff. So like freshman year, sophomore year, and junior year was all like, there was like developing years for me. Like I didn't get good to my, my senior year. Like my football IQ was not up there whatever so but pretty much like freshman year um like strength wise i was bench at 205 sophomore year i got a little better sophomore year bench was 265 uh i was pretty much the strongest on all three levels like freshman university uh, jv i was pretty much strong i was at the top already and then like i got better and then i switched to center that uh year too sophomore year and then what else? Um, and I also got a video of me bent pressing three. I think it was like 350, bro. Easy. Nah, well, it wasn't easy. You know what I'm saying? It was a little strug. You feel me? But I got it, though. It counts. It counts. It counts. Roll a clip. I really, really got uh, my IQ went up. I ain't gonna lie. Like my IQ, football IQ, just understanding the game, being around it. Like I, I was, it was football twenty four seven, and uh, yeah. So that happened, and then like we was decent. Like our teams was decent. We had dudes go to college or whatever, and then like uh, what else? Went to uh, okay my summer before um, senior year. We had a, uh, I had went to my first football camp, right? First day, never forget it. You know what I'm saying? We drive like three and a half hours, bro. Three and a half hours. And then we had, um, our coach gave us a tour of fair State. That was my first time being on the college campus too. And uh, it was a dope experience, you know what I'm saying? You get to see the dorms, you get to see. We saw, he, he only showed us to like the athletic side, but went to the gyms. They was having a hockey camp. It was hella kids there for the hockey camp. Cause I guess they pretty good at hockey, I guess. Huh? Uh, we had walked through the um, the little I don't know what the, the where the gyms and stuff is at. You know they had the hockey thing connected to to that too, or whatever. And then we went to the rock. The rock that was my first time in the college like cafeteria, just the college setting. Period, bro. That joint was a good experience. Like the rock, that was good. Then they had like TVs. They had all kind of food there. I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> now, so I didn't really think about college like that until like my senior year, low key, but. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna everybody wanna play college football, be the big star, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Uh but yeah. And so after we ate or whatever, um, we had went to uh, sign in. That took forever because it was hella kids there for one. And then um what else? Um it was hella kids there and then um we had to sign in what else we had to do, bro? We had to, oh, we had to sign in, get our jerseys. I forgot about that. How did I forget about that? We, we had to get our jerseys, and then we had to do height and weight, and then we had to turn on all our paperwork, too. And then once we did that, you know what I'm saying, we had to wait for everybody to get done, and then we had, uh, uh, we had the warm-up, then the warm-up took forever, low-key, because it was a lot of kids, whatever. So then we did that. It was a combine camp too. So it was like um, we did combine work and then we did positional drills and stuff like that. And then we did like one on ones or whatever. But I went there as a D lineman, which is stupid because I played offensive lineman. But whatever. Um, so the camp gets started. You know what I'm saying? We warm up. You know what I'm saying? Then we do our com our combine drills. You know what I'm saying? You meet a lot of. Uh, that's why I mess with camps and stuff. You meet a lot of people. You make a lot of relationships and stuff. It was kids from different states. I, bro, I did not know kids from other states coming to camp. Like I was just so. I don't know. I never been in that type of atmosphere. So you know what I'm saying? Don't judge. You feel me? But that was dope. It was kids from like Indiana, Ohio. Um, kids from all over Michigan. I was like, bro, that's just crazy, bro, to me. Like, that just is crazy. I like that, though. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Good competition. But, you know what I'm saying? We did the 40. We did L-Cone. We did shuttle. We did broad jump. And 
then did I say L cone? We did the L cone. Did that. And then I did I ran a uh what did I run? I ran slow as hell, bro. I ran like a five something, five flat I think. Five flat. And then um what else did I run? I can't remember my times though. I jumped like I know I jumped like almost ten feet in the broad and then that's all I really remember after after that. And then um but the way they set up the 40 is like you going to get somebody, so you uh like y'all both line up and then you well y'all go on your you go at your own on your own like what's the name your own go whatever. But I had two people do that and then once we got done with that, then we went to our they broke us up in our positions, then we did positional drills and bro I had the most embarrassing part bro. We was doing the delignment drills and then we had to like put one foot over the bat. They had like probably five bats. So you gotta put your foot or you gotta like jump or not jump, but you gotta like step over the bags. And I had fell, bro. I was like, dog. It was just like a lot of people there. I'm like, bro, what the heck? You feel me? But I was like, all right, just shake it off, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? To finish the drill. And then we did one on ones and then uh I forgot to well, I had teammates there too and then um, cause I, that's why I went to play in college is D, defense, well defense, but uh, D lineman too. I want to play play the D lineman or or I want to play D end, D tackle or linebacker. And uh, yeah, so I was short too. I was probably like five, probably five ten, a good two fifty. And then uh, he asked me how much I bench. I was like three or five. And he was like, bro, I bench three or five too. He just did me. We made that connection, you feel me? But that joke was dope, though. I ain't gonna lie. Then we did one on ones, and then I we had three uh, reps, and then I won one. Well, technically, why I had swimmed them, and then I had, but I had failed them. So I don't know if that count. If I got to the uh, quarterback or whatever, then I think I got. Uh, I know I got blocked once. I got blocked once. My first rep, my first rep ever, I got blocked, and then. But that took a minute though. Like all that, all this. I'm saying it like like it happened like boom boom boom. Well, it did happen boom boom boom, but it was just like it happened uh, low key slow. It was it was slow, but um, after that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we had everybody had came together at the end, but the camp was like probably like a solid two hours, I think two or yeah, it was like two hours, and then after that we uh everybody just came in the big group and the, uh, the coaches and whatever was telling us like some of y'all gonna get invited back and then some of y'all not or whatever then they gave us t-shirts and then that was pretty much it and then like some months later not some months it was like probably yeah it was like probably like a few months later i got uh the email they wanted me to come on a visit there <coughs> Or whatever they had a list of games or whatever and then uh made it back that was a good experience i was geek to say i think i still got the t-shirt uh somewhere in my closet but did that season started or whatever and then we did we pretty much did this um same thing we did the last four years like we had two days everybody know about two days and then um that was Bro, it, two, like my senior year, the two days was easy. The easiest it's been ever. Like I was in shape. Like I was probably the best shape I ever been. I was probably like two. I was two fifty, two forty, and then. But we conditioned. Our coach conditioned the hell out of us. I ain't no cat, bro. And then, uh, what else? Um, we did our four way scrimmage. We went against U D Jesuit. Walt Lake Central, the, the uh, four-way scrimmage was at Walt Lake Central. It's always been at Walt Lake Central. Been at Walt Lake Central, and we went against Walt Lake Central. And we went against UAD Jesuit, and then we went against uh, Utica Ford, and then we won all those. Um, we had a dog, bro. When I tell you, we could have won that shit that year, bro. I don't care what nobody talking about, bro. We could have won that shit. Bro, we had some dogs. We, where, bro, everybody, like literally everybody, well, mostly everybody on senior class, senior class could have played college football. That's how cold we was. Just that's just seniors, bro. Juniors was way better than us. I, I can't even lie. We had a, well, we had our running back. We went to uh, Wayne State. He was getting looked at by Michigan State and Central. And we had our uh, my boy Jalen. Jalen was getting looked at by Saginaw, Northwood. Um, 
we had a lot of dudes, bro, that could have played, bro. Uh, yeah, we was cold there. And then the forward scrimmage, we did good at that. So, we, you know what I'm saying? We had the good momentum. And then uh, we had... Um, Then our first game, and then we won that. That was a, bro, that was a close game. It was, well, actually, we was blowing them out, but then they caught back up, and then it was just, uh, it was a, uh, they call it, it was a back and forth game offensively, bro. And then we just finally came out at the end, bro, and just and won. Uh, it was, that was a good team. I ain't gonna lie, but we was definitely way better than them. Uh, fourth quarter, wasn't even tired, bro. I'll tell you, our coach conditioned the hell out of us. And then second game was Pinckney. We won. It was hot as hell that day. It was probably 95 degrees. And then, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, if you're playing the turf, it's like 10 degrees hotter. So it was like probably 105. Cool 105. Man, our running back didn't even play that game because it was cramping. Like, they gave us what they gave us oranges and stuff. But that jump was crazy. Then we won that game uh, 14 to 7. Um, that game was crazy. It wasn't our best game. Like, each game I got better um, with it. Um, and then the third game, we went against John Glenn. Westline John Glenn. And then, uh, what else? We went against John Glenn. That game, we should have won. We was blowing them out 21-7 a half. Then they came back and beat us by seven, bro. I was so sick. And I had a, it was raining. It was like a freaking typhoon outside. Like the game, it was right hard as hell that game, and I had messed up a snap, bro. We was on a, we was probably on inside the five, bro. I was so sick, bro. We should have ran shotgun or not shot. We we run a shotgun offense, so or the, that's how the uh, quarterback line up with shotgun, and then but we should have went in the center, bro. I had snapped it and it went over his head, and our quarterback chased it, and we lost the ball or whatever. That game we should have won, bro. We was snapping on them, bro. That jump was crazy. But uh, we ended up losing that game, and then uh, like I had, I didn't get like no recruit and stuff until the ne our next game, uh, week four. We went against Plymouth, and then uh, we got blew up on Plymouth. <laughs> we wasn't even a game. Like Plymouth usually had good talent. Like they had like, Plymouth had Kyle Brenza kicked that Notre Dame. They had Kyle, or, uh, what's his name? He played at Michigan. He was a D-lineman. Uh, I can't believe I can't. Uh, Brandon Byer. Yeah, they had, they had Brandon Byer, Kyle Branza, and then they had Dante Fox. Well, Dante Fox went to, uh, I think, Grand Valley, but I think he was getting recruited by Notre Dame or something. I don't even know. But anyway, we got blew up by them 41-7. It wasn't even close. Um, yeah, and then after that game, I had got sick. Or started to get sick, and then uh, by the next week I was sick. But um, after our fourth game against Plymouth, I had got uh, you know some recruiting letters or whatever. I had got a recruiting letter from Hope College. If you can see that, I got a recruiting letter from Hope College or whatever. And then they wanted me to come visit. They were saying they was interested and stuff. And then I had to set up a, a date to come, or whatever. Then I did that. You know, sir. Feel me? I was geek, bro. I was like, bro, because I didn't think I was gonna go to college, bro. Like, I ain't gonna cap, like, cause I wanted to go to college to play football. I was like, bro, it's week four. Everybody probably get recruited. I used to watch, like, or not watch, but like, see a lot of people get like recruit letters or like go on visits. And it wasn't happening for me, bro. I was like, bro, skip it. I checked the mail one day and I just saw the letter um, that they sent or whatever, and it was like. Uh, they, well, they had me fill out a questionnaire. They had Division Three school. I didn't even know that. I didn't even never heard of them. So I was like, my mom told me to like read, uh, look it up, or whatever. So I just went on Google and just typed it in, and I saw like they about their school and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'm just go visit or whatever. And then I ended up visiting me, my mom, and my guy brother. We ended up visiting. You know, what I'm saying we got the tour of the school, went to a game and all that. That's almost crazy because uh, one of the coaches from Pickney was there for what I gave, but uh, like a week ago or yeah, a week ago or no, yeah, a week ago that we had played on. He was like, yeah, he remember me, you feel me? And I just kind of felt good. It made me feel good. I ain't gonna lie. But uh, yeah, we got the uh, tour of campus, all that stuff, and went to the game. And they went against Adrian and lost, bro. I was like, oh, I'm sick. But they was just, it was just a good school, um, small town. Um, they were saying that they was getting in turf and New Jersey. They, yeah, they, 
they they really stepped up their game, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It was just the atmosphere they had. Their weight room was cold, gym cold. Like I ain't never been. That was my second time at a college campus. And then um did that host and then the crazy part is my uh uh teammate was there too. I didn't even know he was going uh going there at the same that's crazy that we both was there at the same uh, on the same day. That's not crazy. But uh yeah. And so after that I was just geeked to say I was just that it made me extra motivated to just go hard every day at practice. But then I had got pneumonia. Oh my god, bro. I had pneumonia for like a week. And then um I was I had I was out for the, the whole week and then the next game was our fifth or it's like our fifth, sixth game, whatever. Then it was senior night. I didn't get to play senior night, bro. I was so sick, bro. Like <sighs> the money was not fun, and I was just sick as hell because I didn't get to play pretty much the whole year after, like, the rest of the game. So, I was like, bro, raps. And then um, after the season happened, uh, I got more I got more recruiting uh, mail, too. Like, I got, like, half the recruit mail and stuff. I like, hella recruit mail. And then... Uh, at the end of our season, we had, uh, I don't want to mess out on nothing. We had, uh, like this little, I don't know what, what you call it, but they had this place where you can go and talk to college coaches. Like they come to this high school and you get to talk to them and some, and stuff. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all set up visits or whatever. You just get to talk to them, interact with the, uh, recruiters or whatever. And then I did that. And I was supposed to go to Adrian and, uh, he wanted me to come to Adrian and take a visit and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that never happened. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, because he wanted me to come so short notice. It was like, he wanted me to come, like, next week. And it was just like, I couldn't. That's just, like, quick as heck. Like, I couldn't even get a ride up there or whatever. I should have asked my coaches. But um, he, wanted to see, he wanted to see my tape and stuff, too. But, yeah. I asked my coach, could he give me some tape? He was like, yeah. But, uh, yeah, then after that, I graduated. And then I still hadn't signed to nobody or whatever. And then, like, I went to uh, community college for my first year. And then uh, I tried to, uh, like, I got into uh, I got into Saginaw Valley State. I got into Toledo. I got into all of that. I got and Adrian. I got out an Adrian. And then I think that might have been it. But I got hella emails from college coaches and uh, stuff like that. Got all of it. Hope College, Manchester, they Manchester University now, but that was wrestling. Uh, yeah, all of it. And I got Alma too. I got recruited by Alma too. Alma College. Um, I got recruited by the College of New Jersey. I got recruited by um, who else? Adrian. Concordia, talked to the coach from Concordia, plus go there too. Um, yeah. But at the end of the day, uh, I never got to uh, play college, end up playing college football just for the simple fact that the schools that were recruit me, like they weren't offering scholarships or money to play, and, or money to play. No, <laughs> they didn't offer me scholarships, so I couldn't pay for school or whatever. So I didn't. I ended up just going to community college, and then I transferred to another four-year university um, in Ohio. But you know, what I'm saying I definitely tried. You know, what I'm saying that was definitely my dream, my goal. Um, but yeah, for the simple fact that you know, saying college is expensive as hell. So if you got an opportunity, to, you know, what I'm saying play at the next level, you know what I'm saying take it. Um, Make sure you get that scholarship, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it's
it's, it's a blessing to go to school for free, you know what I'm saying? College is not cheap at all. I think one of my books is like 350. <laughs> 350, bro. Just imagine trying to pay that out of pocket, bro. That's tough. But uh hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know what I'm saying? I hope I didn't leave nothing out of the story. I might do a part two if I left something out, but Hope you guys enjoyed the video, you know what I'm saying? It's my first video back. Hope you enjoyed, you feel me? Hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on my social medias. Links will be in the description, y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm back, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, peace.